double-double machine in Detroit for six seasons. Dave DeBusha saw his career take a turn in 1968 when he joined the New York Knicks and became the team's missing piece. With his intense defense, rugged rebounding, and clutch shooting, he helped the Knicks win two NBA championships. He was an excellent outside shooter. He had no problem with faking to the basket and stepping back and firing uh, a jump shot from uh, would have been three-point range. And he was accurate. He was a fun guy to play against, very skilled. And of course, he was a baseball player also. Uh, and I was always hoping that he would just decide to go play baseball and give up uh, pro basketball. But he not really, he just kept playing basketball and, and beating people up and scoring. He was special. Dave the Bush and Dave and I were, uh, became in the league together. He was a first round pick in Detroit. I was a second round. But Dave, to me, was an incredible player. He was the youngest player to ever become a coach. At 23 years old. And it's intercepted by Dave DeBusher. DeBusher with a very strong game. Dave was a forward, and, and uh, he was a, a power forward who could handle the ball, could score. He was an exceptional player. Detroit relied on him. He didn't mind being aggressive and physical, but that's the way the game was played. Dave was fit right in with the mold. Before that, he was with Detroit. But he, he was always one of them complimentary players that whatever they needed, that's what he gave them. And he was more, and, 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 I, and, I, and I don't like putting guys in a category, but Dave the Bush was more like an enforcer. Okay, he came in, played the toughest guys. I mean, really played the toughest guys, okay, physically. One of the more tenacious basketball players I've known. A ferocious rebounder, defensive player, can shoot the ball. So he was the final piece of the puzzle that made us champions. I am very proud to be a part of it. And I think, uh, I just, I'm just so happy really right now. I don't, I was speechless. Sean, Dave DeBusher was probably the original dual sport professional athlete. Well, when he came out of college, he had a choice to make. Is it gonna be baseball or basketball? And he chose both because his first couple years, he was a pitcher in a White Sox organization. He played for the Pistons. He even had a shutout for the White Sox. But that's a long schedule to keep for a whole year. So he chose basketball, played for the Pistons, had great years with the Pistons. He was one of the original defensive specialists. He was a good lockdown defender, good help defender, and later joined the Knicks. And when you hear the defense chants now in sports, it started in Madison Square Garden with those early Knicks teams. And he was the heart and soul of the Knicks defense. Won a couple championships with the Knicks. And when you look back at his career, when he had that choice to make, baseball or basketball, I think he chose wisely. I certainly agree with you. And you mentioned the New York Knicks when he was the general manager for that Knicks team. He had an integral part in securing the iconic I'm not even going to say his name. Patrick Ewing. <laughs> yes, he was a general manager. And the, when the Knicks won the lottery, that footage of him pounding his fist to get that number one pick, in addition to being good, he was very lucky. I thought that him coming to the team and me going back to the center made us a better team because he was a great long range shooter and was a tough rebound that could pass and dribble. So he played more like a perimeter player and, and those were some of the skills I did not possess. So it really helped us to make us a much better team in terms of how we played and we were a quicker team up and down the floor. He actually was the longest range shooting on the team because he had a very strong arm because he was a baseball pitcher. The Busher has a hot hand for New York and he has made a big difference in the New York entry of the NBA.